All right, this is a daily chart of BBRY. In this video update, I'm going to explain uh, a little bit about uh, BBRY, the possible targets, and what's been happening a long time. Uh, but before I do, and again, I, unlike a lot of people on the BlackBerry board, why you want to listen to me is I've been the most correct uh, out of anybody, and I tell it how it is for this company. And I do it because, you know, I got a lot of followers from the BBRY since I covered BBRY for many, many, many years. Lately, I haven't been talking about it because, I mean, I'll, I'll explain why. But let's go to my stream, people, and take a, let's take a look at my last um, uh, BlackBerry update right here was December the 8th and let's see what I said okay people so as you can see at the th at the day, very day and time uh, Blackberry was at 1051 based on this close this is what I posted on the thing I said BBRY needs to regain 11 and hold above 1030 or risks to test lower prices once again okay so basically if you read what I said here you press pause you read what I said here um, you can see this did exactly what I said. Nobody put analysis like this on the BlackBerry board. The reason being is, is that I am a breakout expert. I know what to look for. Okay, so I tell you real moves. I'm not interested in short and BlackBerry. I'm only interested in the powerful pop that it could have that it has not been able to have. And here's the reason being. I draw these two lines. And I explained we've been in a chop zone, especially after. So this was the earnings play that was the last trade I entered in this that was really good. And since then, we've been chopping in this channel, right? So I draw the lines. We broke, we broke through it, reversed through it, which is negative, and now we're chopping. So the resolution for the stock is simple, people. BlackBerry really needs to trade above 11. I mean, there are earlier entry signals, but what we need is this stock needs to get above 11 and do so on extremely heavy volume. And I've explained the volume uh, many, many times on many of my updates. If the stock does not get the volume that I am saying and get above 11, then, you know, this stock can just chop around and simply head lower to fill this gap. Again, if you look at my other update, you'll see I called this exactly. Isn't BlackBerry lower still from that day, people? I mean, let's not, let's, let's, let's you know, this is, I've, I've been telling people that the volume is key. And even today, the SMP, your BBRY, look, December the 8th, I posted this, okay? You can see this, right? And when we click on this, you right? you see the likes and comments and blah blah blah, right? But if you click on it and you read what I said here, this is true, powerful analysis. Follow me for more great advice. I mean, BlackBerry is one company, people. I mean, I'll go on, I'll go along this if it confirms. You know, I believe that if the stock can confirm that you know 14 is a likely target, but until the power and volume proof comes in, you can you people can guess and hope all they want this has been giving a lot of false hope to stock and it's in what I call a massive chop zone and the only way that this stops is we get the volume in the key areas so they can finally launch somewhere I mean look at the picture people what is that what is this thing been doing we chop we were chopping here we broke down broke back into the chop zone broke a little bit higher failed again failed again like I just drew you a picture of strong analysis so there you have it people BBRY follow me for great advice like this video uh, I'm trying to see if there's any people with with logic left in the BBRY board uh, that appreciate strong analysis follow me for great advice and also become a chart witness follower and start making some big money in many other stocks I mean there are so many other stocks to make money in. I can make money in Blackberry and Apple and ISIS you can check that out you know check out my videos check out my stream do yourself a favor and break the baby money you're making in Blackberry a lot of people are in the red people in Blackberry and this has been there's been profitable for me but 
and I do analysis. I've been doing it for fun uh, in BlackBerry, and my analysis is bang on. It continues to be bang on. And look where the stock is. Even with this market rallying, people, BlackBerry is still lower than that December 8 update, right? So think about it. You could be stuck in this stock. Can be I wouldn't bother shorting the stock. I mean, you have people trying to short BlackBerry. It's just, I don't want to short Black. I could. I have no interest in shorting the stock. It's just, this is in a chop zone. I have interest in one direction. I mean, this could go very low slowly, which is this is how it did. They trickled it down lower. Yeah, we popped. But I tell you right now, people, we don't get the volume in the key areas, especially above 1080 and 11. This is setting up. This is a bear flag, in my opinion, right? I mean, I look at positive and negative, and without the volume to reverse the negativity, this is the next s s stage for the stock. How it gets there, I don't know how long it takes there, but it can get there. You need the volume, and this needs to start trading above the 1080 to $11 area to ignite a new move. And if it can't do that, and look at today, you know, you know, you know, people that. That this that the market has rallied hugely had a huge reversal and look at BlackBerry it barely moved not a good sign. Take it from a pro who tells it how it is the facts. Thanks for listening. Like the video.